Okay, everybody. I dug this hole. Put that post in. It's not buried or nothing. And that's the last one before the trail. So there won't be no more posts there. So then I'm going to put one post here. And one post towards the house there. And then that'll be that. Okay, everybody. So two posts are in and they're buried deep. And uh, so I just got to run the fence from there to the yellow. And then I'll cut that off. But we're not putting a gate in front of the pathway, obviously. It's got to stay open. And then we're going to put another post here. Ugh. So the yellow comes. So we'll put the other post about here. And then maybe go to the tap or maybe go to there. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to section that part off. And then we're not going to actually put a gate here, but we will have this small piece that um, when the dog's back here, I can just lay it across so that uh, the dog can play and I don't have to worry about it running away. So there you go. Okay, guys, that part's done. So, as you can see, it goes all the way. And to there. So, the only thing left to do on this side now is just to cut the top of that off. And then, uh, gotta just make the small gate part for right here. So, shouldn't be too bad. We'll talk to you soon. Thought where this bench is would be a nice waiting area. Or you could sit and look at the grove and prepare yourself if you wanted to enter. Or if you wanted to come out and just relax. So this could be, you know, part one of the waiting room. And then, uh, or prep room, whatever. And then, of course, after we'll, we'll do that. But at least if we do this, we have a spot where people can rest. Um, yet still be attached to the grove. So I think this will be, I think this will work. Um, so I go come here you see the fence there and the fence there see and then there's that seat right there so I think that'll give it and when see see you when you come in see that'll go around there but of course it's going to be straight it won't be it'll go around there and I think that'll make it make it good. I like the feel of it anyway, so we'll give that a go and see how it turns out. Alright. See ya, see ya. So come into the grove. So you see the fence there. And there's the where I'm building for the waiting area or the cleansing area or the whatever area you want to call it. But basically, you just before you come in the grove, if you got something on your mind or something you want to tell the grove or you think of it like either a cleansing or you know confess to the grove or whatever, and you sit here. I guess the closest thing would be like confession booth, I guess, but it's not, uh, you don't confess to anybody, you just sit here and think about what you want to ask to grow for and stuff like that. And uh, you don't tell anybody, you just talk to the grove and uh, clear your conscience, basically. So that's what this room's for. And the waiting room literally will be out there. So, there you have it. Okay, guys. I done did it. 
Let's just get over to the cleansing room. And as you can see, it is completely done. And uh, it's all nailed down everything. So, if someone wants to come here and cleanse their thoughts before entering, or maybe when they enter, when they come out, their thoughts are being cleansed. So they may want to sit and, and contemplate what they learned while they were at the group. So, that's what this place is. This, place, this spot is for thinking about what you want to fix, what they would like the group to help you with, what you can help the grove with, what you can do for the for the gang, for the wolf pack, for the for the clan, and for the Utilians. So basically it's a place to sit in, think about what you want to ask the grove and what you want to do for the grove, sort of a thing. And you can get all your inner thoughts out and nobody will judge you because you're talking to the grove. May we enter so you see it. So now, I'll show it to you from this side. So, there it is. See, and you can just sit in peace and concentrate and work on whatever you want. So let's look at the fence. The whole the entire barrier is done. The barrier fencing is all up. All the way across. So as you can see, completely done so very happy about that hmm. so let's just have a we'll start with father sky and work our way around you guys already know the names of everything because i put on the tape for you so we'll just look around and tell father sky and understake the path of life the sun moon staff and mother earth thank you for all you do and uh, have a good night. Tell the direction of south. And of course, we'll tell the elementals fire, earth, water, wood, and air. Thank you for all you do for us. Amen. Glory. And I get a yellow. Thank you, Brother Sun, for giving us life and energy, and Sister Moon for helping us to learn, teach, and rest. Thank you, Wes, for teaching us the difference between right and wrong and to think of others. Thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you've taught us. Thank you, Family Stone, and thank you, Grandfather. Thank you, White, for teaching us to be loyal and honor and have pure heart. Thank you to the Holy Trio. Thank you, Ariel, Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel. Well, you do, thanks to the North, thank you to the Four Winds, to mankind, reminding us that no matter what, we're all still together, we can all still reach each other. Hello to Brown, thank you for teaching us everybody and everything is equal. Thank you to my animal totems, and these three are also your animal totems. So thank you for all the animal totems, for all they do in teaching us. Thank you to East, which is to remind us of ourselves, to be good to ourselves, and love ourselves. Thank you, Brother Mountain, teaching us to stand strong and stand in our ways and be unmovable when need be. Thank you to Sister Lake for teaching us that there's times to settle down and be deep and calm and think, and there's times to be like a river and be powerful and strong and push the obstacles out of our way. And thank you for Red for teaching us that love is the greatest power and that our heart is our biggest strength. See you, see ya. All right, everybody. Well, I think I did a good day's work and everything's happy, so we shall talk to you next time. See you, see ya.